Praise the Lord. It's been a while uh, coming back uh, uh, to this uh, recenter program uh, due to uh, some uh, uh, you know, technical issues. We couldn't come uh, in front of you. Again, we are happy to say that uh, we are back uh, with this recenter program. Let's have a quick prayer today uh, before getting into the word. Heavenly Gracious Father, thank you, Lord, for giving this opportunity once again to speak to your children. Lord, you speak to us so that we may, Lord, get mighty revelations through your word. Help us, Lord, strengthen us in our spirits by your word. We pray this prayer in the matchless name of our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. My dear friends, hope you are all doing good. Uh, uh, it's amazing again meeting you uh, on Recenter once again. I want to tell you one thing today. A good healer can be a good doer and a good doer can be a good gainer. Amen. I am again repeating, a good healer can be a good doer and a good doer can be a great gainer. Bible says in Revelations 2.29, whoever has ears, let them hear what the Spirit says. What is that we have to hear about? Why we need to be so attentive about hearing? What we have to hear? Hearing the word of God. In Isaiah 55 verse 3 and 4, God is calling us, Give ear and come to me. Listen that you may live. I, I will make an everlasting covenant with you. My faithful love promised to David. See, I have made him a witness to the peoples, a ruler and a commander of the peoples. See here, God is inviting us to hear his word. Give ear and come to me. Listen what you may, that you may live, says the Holy God. God wants to talk to us. He is very anxious to talk to us in every aspect of our life, my dear friend. God wants to be a good friend, a good companion, a good colleague, or a good person who can guide you and teach you in all your aspects. In the same chapter of Isaiah 55, verse 10 to 12, it was written like this. As the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return to it without watering the earth and making it bud and flourish so that it yields seed for the source and bread for the eater. So is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to be to me empty but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. It's a beautiful verse, my dear friend. As the rain and snow come down from heaven and do not return to it without watering the earth. There is a purpose for the rain and snow to fall on this earth, to water the dry earth which is thirsty and which want to be filled with wetness so that it can bud and you know start blooming and start you know yielding fruits in the same way god says he compares his word with rain and snow my word that goes out from my mouth it will not return to me empty says the lord amen when god declares a word the word will start obeying to his command and start traveling to the destiny and imparting the mightiness of God and start doing the will of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Today, the word is ready, ready to travel to you. The mighty word want to fulfill the will of God in your life. God says, my word will never return to me empty, but it will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I have sent it. For every word God has 
pronounced from his mouth there is a reason and there is a will for that my dear friend god wants to pronounce blessings god wants to pronounce victory in your life god wants to pronounce mighty mighty things in your life so that he may get glory through you through your life his word will bear fruit his word will yield results his word will meet needs his word will accomplish his goal and his will towards us and his word will satisfy the souls of the hearers if you are attentive and ready to hear the word of god god wants to pronounce a promise to you today if you are looking with without a hope and if you are completely devastated and lost in every kind of your battles my dear friend today god wants to pronounce blessing in your life my dear youngster my dear sister and brother god loves you he wants to pronounce a mighty miracles in your life can you allow god to pronounce his will in your life can you allow god to pronounce his mighty deeds in your life see in psalms 119 105 this is very familiar to us it was written your word is a lamp for my feet a light on my path his word is the lamp for our feet and the light to our paths when you are wandering in darkness and you don't have any clue where you are going where where is your destiny and you don't have clue whether you want to go right left move forward backward and you are in a criss cross roads and you are surrounded with darkness and today god is saying that my word will give you light in your paths so that you can clearly see the will of the god and the ways of the god according to his will and and according to his purpose in your life in hebrew chapter 4 was 12 it was written for the word of god is alive and active sharper than any double edged sword it penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit joints and marrow it judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart word is not just a light word is not just a way maker which can show you the path of your life the word is a probing factor in our life it probes us it judges our thoughts and attitudes in our heart it is so sharper that it is as equal as a double edged sword penetrating into our soul and spirit can you understand the mightiness of the word of the god my dear friend word is so sharp and it penetrates into your soul and spirit oh it embraces you it comforts you it wipes away your tears it will give you strength it will motivate you the word the word will encourage you to move forward in your life in matthew 24 was 25 it was written heaven and earth will pass away but my words will never pass away says the lord almighty his word is so intact very established and strong that it will never pass away it will never pass away even heaven and earth passes away one day a centurion came to jesus and he told about his servant the, the criticality of his servant and pleaded jesus to intervene into that situation then jesus you know started reacting and jesus thought that i should go to this person's house and pray for that servant but you know what this centurion told in matthew chapter 8 verse 8 it was written the centurion replied lord i do not deserve to have you come under my roof but just say the word and my servant will be healed amen 
he is pleading jesus lord you just say a word your word is enough for me your word is enough so that it is sharper as a double edged sword that it will penetrate into our souls and spirit joints and marrows and it can bring healing to my servant he is pleading jesus that come lord you speak a word so that my servant will be healed can you plead jesus today asking him to pronounce a word a healing word an encouraging word a word which will strengthen you in all aspects of your life my dear brothers and sisters bible says why is word is so important why word is so strong why is word so mighty in doing such a wonderful things in our life in john chapter 1 verse 1 it was written in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god amen the word himself is god almighty when word comes you have to remember god himself came in front of you today when this word is penetrating into your heart and healing you which means god himself is with you he is doing his work in your heart today again i am repeating a good healer can be a good doer and a good doer can be a great gainer god bless you we'll meet again next week same time till then stay safe and be strengthened in the lord praise the lord